Yo people and welcome back today to episode 3 of A New Day, A New Beat. So in this video I'm going to be making a completely random beat from scratch. I sort of create a guitar melody and end up flipping it into, well I don't, I don't know what artist it sounds like. If you know what artist it sounds like go tell me down in the comments. I haven't really got an idea to be honest. Um, but as always if you enjoy it make sure you leave a like on the video. Go comment down in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already. And also ignore the shitty haircut because... Isolation has clearly got to me. But anyway, yeah, enjoy the video. So right now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to put my beat into sort of a three-step pattern. If you're using a guitar patch, it's usually a good idea to try and mess around with this three-step pattern. Give it a go, it comes out with some really interesting sort of sounding beats. Um, but as you can see now, yeah, I'm just playing around with the notes, trying to find what sounds good. Uh, and I end up coming up with a really nice sort of bass sounding melody. After playing around with the other higher pitched notes, I come up with a melody I'm well happy with. Uh, go ahead and chuck half time on it, of course. Uh, if you haven't got half time, by the way, you can use gross beat, go to sets, then momentary, and choose half speed, and you can get pretty much the exact same effect. But I end up messing around with the half time sort of time signature, um, and yeah, the sound I come up with inspires me for the rest of the beat. So at this point, I'm not too fussed about making the 808 sound too crazy. The melody already sounds quite sick and I'm planning to chuck some cool sort of sounding hi-hats on there. So I just want a simple 808 pattern, something nice and easy for the rapper to sort of vibe on. So now some pretty self-explanatory stuff, I'm just chucking in the hi-hats, chucking in a clap as well as the main snare. Um, and later on I actually go, I think you see it now, I'm going to go in and drag another clap and layer them together just to create a more sort of punchy clap sound. here just sort of filling out some further drum sounds. I changed the hi-hat pattern to a four step because now I'm thinking okay these hats need to start getting a bit serious here. So I get another hi-hat sound and yeah it just goes a bit mad. Listen. Now just adding again a basic kick in there to complement the 808 and I know I said the hi-hats go mad, just wait, they get sick. Number one tip I can give you when making your hi-hat patterns is do not be afraid to mess around with the pitch of your hats. As you can see in this beat, I end up sort of making melodic sounding hats that go with the beat really well. As well, mix up your time signatures and you can get different sounding rolls, it's really sick. I'm thinking 
in, alright, I've got my drums, I need to add some variation to this beat. So I ended up going with some sort of weird vocal sound in Absinthe 5. But when I find the pitch of this, you'll notice it's not quite in the correct pitch at the start, but when I figure it out, it adds a lot of texture to the beat. See, isn't it mad how it sounds so much better there? Because before I was thinking, alright, this is sounding decent. Then when it's in there, it's like, yo, alright, this is fucking sick. So I end up opening expand, I find a nice little flute sound, chuck that in and that just tops off the whole beat. All I've got to do from here is arrange it. So now just doing some basic mixing on that sound I've just added on the flute sound. I'm um, gonna add a bit of reverb on it as well just to make it proper appear in the mix. Alright, so what I'm actually doing here is I'm creating an automation clip for the halftime to take effect when the beat drops. So, to be honest, that is pretty much the whole beat. I'm just gonna go ahead and play that now. And one more thing, if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. It really helps me out. And if you have any suggestions, please feel free to go and let me down in the comments what they are. And yeah, I'll get around to doing them. But yeah, that's it from me. Enjoy the rest of the video.